Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an overhead UI exactly like this one. We're also going to be using display name which is a feature that Roblox just rolled out recently and we're also going to be using leader stats. In this example I'm just going to be using a level but yes I'm going to be using leader stats. Now before I start I have already created a leader stats script that is really simple and it just adds the level. Uh, you can copy this if you want but I do have a better in-depth uh, tutorial on leader stats if you want to watch that and then come back to this video. Besides that, I am going to get into the video or into the tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is create this part here. And this is where I'm actually going to set up or design the overhead. So I'm going to add a billboard GUI. I'm going to take the light influence all the way down so it doesn't get affected by the sun and cast shadows on itself. And then I'm going to scale it to what the size, the size I want. Now you can do any size you want, but I'm just going to do the size that I like, which is 5.2 by 1.2. And you can already see the uh, square gain set up here. Now the issue is, uh, it's right now it's inside the block. And what's going to happen if we put that on the character, it's going to be inside the head. So I'm going to do is on the Y axis, I'm going to just bump it up by two studs and then it'll be above. You can already see here, we have the outline of the billboard GUI. There it is. And you can see it, it uh, follows our camera, which is exactly like this one. Now what I'm going to do is actually start creating the text labels or the things to display the name and level. So I'm going to write, I'm going to do the display name first. I'm going to write display name as the name. I'm going to get rid of the background. I'm going to scale it all the way up on the x-axis. And let's say 0.6 on the y. And then I'm going to make it look nice. Just give me a second. I'm going to use the Goth Black font. I'm going to scale it up. Now make sure you have text scaled on because what will happen is when you go further away the text will get really big. If you have text scaled on it will always say the same size as you see here. Text scaled off, text scaled on, just like that. Now I'm going to do is just write display name here as a placeholder and I'll also add text stroke transparency to make it look nicer. Once I've done that I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to move it down by 0.4. And let's make it a bit smaller, let's say 0.4. Actually, I'll move it down 0.6. Now what that's gonna do is put it right under our display name. And this is gonna be the level. I'll change the name to level and I'll change the text. Let's just do a placeholder real quick. Level 100 and let's give it a nice color. Let's say orange. Now that we've got that set up, it looks exactly like this one. It looks really good. Actually, I'm gonna change the font to just be Gotham so it matches that. But if that out of the way, we can name this overhead and move this into our uh, replicate storage. Now I'm going to create a script and name this one overhead too, just so we can know what it is. And let's get started with the script. So first thing I'm going to do is reference the replicated storage, which is where our overhead is located, as you can see over here in the explorer. So replicated storage equals game, get service, replicate server, uh, replicate storage. And replicate storage is a service, so that's why I'm using get service. I mean, you could write the replicate storage, but like I said, I'm just going to use uh, use get service. Next thing I'm going to do is use the play added function. So this runs when the player joins the game. So game the players the play added connect function, and we're going to get that player perimeter as well. And then we're going to run the another function that will run when the character is added to the game. So character added connect function character, and that's going to get the character as well. And now we can actually create the overhead and put it onto that character. So what we're going to do is write a local overhead. We're going to reference our replicate storage. We're going to wait for child overhead. Now I'm adding wait for child because sometimes uh, overhead doesn't load in time. What you could do is make a variable up here for the overhead and then clone it down here later. But for now, I'm just going to do it all in one line. We do need to clone it because we need to make a new one for every player. We don't want to just take one and then the next player that joins, they won't have one. So what I'm going to do is actually clone it like this. Next thing I'm going to do is parent it to the player. Parent equals character. And we'll do wait for child their head. Just like that. Because sometimes their head doesn't load in time. So that's why I'm using wait for child once again. And then we can actually get into the changing or gaining the display name. Stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if or an if statement. If player.display name doesn't equal, so that's the tilde there, if you're wondering, doesn't equal player.name, then, and what this is going to do 
is if the player doesn't have a display name, it's going to set their the display name value just to their player name. But if they do have a display name, it is going to give them that, that display name and it'll be different to their player name. So if they don't, if they do have a display name, this code will run. And if they don't, we'll run other code later. For now, I'm just going to do overhead dot display name dot text equals player dot display name. That will set the overhead to their display name. If they don't have a uh, display name, we're just going to set the overhead just to be their normal player name. This is just going to make it so it's compatible with all players, not just ones that have a display name. And then I'm going to get the leader stats. So local level, well, I'll level in the leader stats. Local level equals player. I'm going to wait for child. Leader stats, and just let that leader, uh, the player list load in. That one in the top right, which is called the leader stats. And I'm going to get the level and then the value. And that should get that there. Now what I'm going to do is actually change the overhead level to be that. So overhead level dot text. And I can write level space dot dot and then add their level on top of that. So it'll say level and it'll add whatever level they are. And without the way that this should work now. So I click play. And just like that, my display name is alpha as you can see right here and I have my level. And if I reset my character. come back again and that's it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial